have this mutual understanding of like we're not going to hook up with other people unless there's a determination that's been made that this new person is superior in some way to one of you in which case the relationship ends instantly and then they'll go sleep with the other person that's true in right i case, mean if some guy who you thought was in really which case, good then, stepped hey, he's and he's more welcome to do that and right. i can't do anything about it you guys don't have a title there's no title you're not like boyfriend girlfriend mm-hmm. no no and title. you said a couple weeks 3 4 weeks yeah okay and uh, you said there are potentially other guys in the picture, but you're not hooking up with them. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Well, you said there's a couple guys who... I'm not flirting with them. I've just, like, they're guys that I, like, know of. And I'm just like, okay, you're kind of cute. I could, I could maybe see something with you. But mm-hmm. ultimately, I have my mind set on this one person. Cause Would you like I this current him. situation to be more? If he's listening, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like him. But, I mean, if he wants to find someone else, then, hey, there's nothing I can do about that. Have you had a conversation? I We've had a conversation at least about what I want. Because I met him coming out of, like, a pretty shite relationship. Or not relationship. Honestly, I would not qualify it as a relationship because we were stuck in the talking phase for way too long. How long? Like three or four months and we would hang out a lot and it was just a very interesting experience he's gonna sit by the fact that you know i'm the one at fault for everything but were you no i mean i was definitely at fault for some of the things but i came to realize he didn't like how i like wasn't able to like open up and like lean on him like you know how some people have like good and bad days that's me, and I'll have, like, good and bad days, I'll have, like, a great day, and then I'll be like, oh, yeah, like, I'll see my plans through with this person, but if it's a bad day, I'm just like, okay, yeah, I don't really want to see you, I don't want to bring my bad attitude to you, and so that was just something that he was, like, very adamant that I did not do. He was like, I want you to still come see me, I want you to lean on me, I want you to do these things, but I was just like, you're not my boyfriend. I'm not going to do it unless you are my boyfriend. Because otherwise, hmm. you're just, I'm going to lean on you, and then what? You're going to get up and leave? I'm did not going to lean on when someone. When you were dating this guy, did you want it to be more serious? Yeah, 100%. So did you ever have overt conversations about that? We definitely did, but there was definitely a lot of things that never got talked about. Um, were you guys exclusive? We were. Isn't that essentially Sorry. boyfriend, girlfriend? I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but so confusing these days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, okay, you have the conversation. What are we? What is this? And then the guy says what? Well, okay. The way I heard it from one of his friends was that he wanted to make the relationship official for a while, but just didn't feel comfortable doing that because. I couldn't do the things that a girlfriend needed to do, but I was like, sir. Which which is what? Just the good, healthy communication, and, like, there were definitely things that were my fault. I wouldn't lean on him. I wouldn't do certain things that a good girlfriend would do, but to be fair, I wasn't his girlfriend, and I would tell him that when he would want me to lean on him, and I'd be like, I'm not going to lean over you. Like, I'm not going to tell you every horrible thing that's been going on in my head right now because it's just going to do nothing but overwhelm you and make me feel like you now see me in an ugly light and then I'm overwhelmed and like I also just felt like he was going to judge me for whatever I had to say but what what were the the girlfriend things he wanted you to do that you weren't it wasn't anything like it mostly had to just do with communication and being able to see plans through. He would get really frustrated whenever I would make plans and then later cancel because I was having a shit horrible moment. A lot of them were literally just like basic level things that I should have been able to do with someone that I actually cared for. Mm-hmm. I have no problem showing up for my friends, being there for my friends, talking with my friends. It was like this weird pressure where I just couldn't do it with him. He wanted good, healthy communication where I talked to him 
about anything. I was honest with him about anything, even if it was really hard for me, despite whatever was going on in my head. But I just couldn't do it. All right. And then there's this current guy. You were saying how you want to be boyfriend, girlfriend, but haven't had the conversation. I'd like to be with him, but I don't know. He seemed like not a relationship type. So you want more than... He seems content with what we are now. Okay. I'll put it like that. Having a hookup every now and then, basically kind of casual. Yeah. And are you okay with that? Yeah, I'd be okay with that, but I definitely do want something more in the future, whether that's with him, not with him. The moment of deciding will come, I guess. All right. Did you say longest relationship? I did not. Maybe a little under two years. All right. Was that a situation ship too, or was that actually a boyfriend? It was not. That was actually a boyfriend. All right. Cool, cool. All right. What about you? I've been single all my life. Okay. Single all your life. Any interaction with the opposite sex at all? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> a lot. I just can't commit. <laughs> you can't commit. You're the non-committal oh, one. Okay. I didn't see that one coming. And what's the longest period of time you've seen somebody? A little over a year. Was it on again, off again, or? On again, off again, a lot. Okay. A couple questions. Did you call this person your boyfriend? No. Okay, never. but it was so situationship. I don't know what to call it. How old were you? Last year. Okay, so you're fresh freshman or sophomore year? Sophomore you? in okay. college. I see. Okay. One year situation, situation ship. How many times was it off and on? Three times. Three times. Who would end it? Me. <laughs> all, all three times you ended it? Yes. And then who would go back to the other asking for it back? Him. You would end it, he would come back. Why would you end it? Because I would get bored. <laughs> Why would you come back? Because then I got bored again. <laughs> Wait, I love her, bro. So why'd you end it? What? <laughs> okay. Wait, so... So when you say you got bored, what does that mean? I get bored with a person. So, How's like... You know, I don't know how to explain it. You're always excited to see this person, and you just want to hang out with them all the time. And then, like that feeling just slowly saw that on fades TikTok. away. Yeah, exactly. So it's a real, It's like a law of physics. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, after three months, the person's just terribly dull and boring. Boring, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so three months, and he was like, he was boring, or you would get bored. I would get bored. Okay. And this, like, is there any blame on this individual for you getting bored? Like, maybe you weren't. He's too sweet. Oh, too nice. Oh, oh gosh. Well, I, okay. Uh, too not too sweet. This is so why women when, say there's. Hold on, no hold on, hold on. Let's let's hold on. Okay. <laughs> so, when you say he was too sweet, okay. In what ways was he too sweet? So you know how you're only young once, and you just want to do like crazy things, and you just like want him to grab you in the face and like kiss you one day, but then like he's always like, "Can I? Can I?" And it's like, "Dude, it's so boring." You mean boring. asking for consent? Just like, do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, but that's the thing is like if you're seeing someone, you shouldn't have to continually ask for consent every time. Wait, I mean, like, that's just my personal thing. Like, if you're dating someone or seeing someone on the regular, I wouldn't constantly be like, is it okay if I can kiss you? I would just that's kiss just them awkward. because so I'm you're comfortable But hold on, let's get, a, Wait, let's get some more specifics here. In every instance he wanted to kiss you, he asked you for your permission? Exactly. Like, no, no way. No, 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 I'm not saying, like, consent. No way. No way. No way. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> no, it's because it's like, why are you getting so nervous every single time? Hmm. Why are you not comfortable? Yeah, exactly. Yet? Into the mics. Um, Sorry. There's a lot to unpack here. So, okay. You were for a year. And so when you would go off, mm -hmm. would you see other people in the off periods? Of course. 
Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then, I think if I recall you saying you were looking for fun or excitement, or I'm trying to remember Both. precisely what you said. Mm -hmm. Fun and excitement. Okay, in your dating life. Exactly. Does that include so variety? Mm -hmm. Prior to this guy, have you? I mean, you said you've been single your whole life, but at no point you guys called each other boyfriend girlfriend. Never. I'm confused though. So you'd break up with him because you were bored, but you'd also get back together with him because you were bored. I kind of, is it because <laughs> when you guys were not together, no other men materialized? Mm. Kind of, yeah. So you'd break up with him because you want a new guy, mm -hmm. but no new guys came along? They did, but then we would break it off, so then I'd you'd, get bored during the period. You'd break it off with the, the new guys. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Why go back to the other guy then? Comfort? Yeah. Convenience. Yeah, it's a comfort. You're used to him. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, that's a, it's an interesting one. When's the last time you, or you said you've been single, well. Your whole life. Your whole life. But so when's the last time you, it's off currently with this guy, correct? I saw him four days ago. <laughs> okay. And, but did you off it at th four days ago or you're kind of on? Yes. It's off. Yeah. Oh, man. This, this guy is a, a glutton for punishment. Um, <laughs> now that it's been off for four days, has he been trying to win you back over, trying to get back with you? Yes. Can we? You gotta show us these text messages. I gotta see this. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. So, does he cry when you break up with him? Is he sad? <laughs> Well, he asked me last time, three, day, four days ago, when I saw him, he was like, why do you always ghost me? I don't remember. I blacked out. Blacked out from alcohol. <laughs> yes. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> and so, white guy, black guy, Asian guy? Asian guy. Okay. And have you seen a new guy since you broke up with him four days ago? No. No. Okay. Besides him, is there any other guys you've seen for kind of extended periods of time? Yes. What's the longest? A year. Oh, there's another year guy. Mm -hmm. Was that also off and on? Yes. How many? Okay. And it was, how many times was it off and on? Four Don't, times. Uh, if you say, <laughs> <laughs> you're about to say three. Okay. Four, t four times with this guy. Yeah. And, May I guess, were you bored? Yes. <laughs> oh. wow, you got guess. bored. Okay. Yeah. He was too busy. Too busy. Mm -hmm. So he was too busy, the other guy too sweet. Yes. Wait, mm -hmm. this is making me sound so bad. No. <laughs> no, the honesty is much appreciated yeah. and the forthcomingness. It's good. You often don't hear this sort of comingness from people. Uh, so too sweet. Did, would this guy like buy you flowers and compliment you all the time? And he never bought me flowers. Would he simp? No. He didn't simp. No. Mm -mm. Pay for dates? Oh, he would. Okay. Yeah. But too sweet in terms of his demeanor, like how he acted towards you. Oh, actually, he did buy me flowers. I lied. Ah. Yeah. The first guy. Uh -huh. Yeah. He did. And then the other guy was too busy because he was. He's a CS guy, so. Computer science. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's pretty serious there, mm -hmm. of a major. Are you desirous of something a little more stable? Yes. You're desirous of something more stable, but it needs to be with a guy who is not boring, is or not, not so busy. sweet <laughs> and has enough time, but maybe not too much time, so as to become boring. I want a long distance relationship. Maybe see each other once every two weeks. <laughs> what if it's not long distance, but you still see each other just once every two weeks? So he's local. Or would you feel too He would tempted? want to see me too many times, so no. He would. Well, how do you know? What if it's a guy who has, like, milk toast interest? Then no. <laughs> what? <laughs> so the guy has to be very interested, but only want to see you once every two weeks. Exactly. <laughs> Any takers? Are you is she trolling, Chad? I, can't, I, I, can't I, don't, know, I don't know if she's just super honest or trolling. <laughs> No, no, but she, her serious. delivery is also funny. Too. <laughs> you should be a stand-up comedian. There you go. Just drop out of UCSB and start stand-up. 
I kind of believe her. I believe, mm, I believe her. her. You guys, are you guys roommates, housemates? We're best friends. Aw. Okay, cool. I'll come back to, to you a little bit later. But what about you? <laughs> I am single. I've been, out, I've been single for about four or five months. And my longest relationship, probably three years, but in that three years, we only really dated for maybe like four months total with a couple breaks. Wait, three years, but together you were only yeah, for four like, months? Yeah, like putting the label on it. Okay, but you were like hanging out. Yeah, we were. We just like, oh, he, I should say, just wouldn't, couldn't be with me, but we were best friends, and I was home to him and blah, 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 blah. So we were best friends, and I was talking to someone, he was talking to somebody. Mm-hmm. Both ended the relationships. Still were together, but he couldn't put a label on it, but wanted to do every relationship thing with me. Eventually, he got to the point of putting the label on it, but then about like a month and a half in, it ended, and then mm-hmm. we like tried again because we were best friends. We couldn't break up, and then it ended this past like March, April. Okay, and did you say it was off again, on again, on again, off again? For the first year it was, just because we weren't exclusive. We were just pretty much really good friends, both talking to our own people, but we knew we had feelings for each other. And then the last, since January of 2022, we have only been exclusive with each other. We just didn't have a label until November of 2023, or October of 2023. Okay, got it. And then what about you? Uh, Ladies, would you date Brian? On one hand, he is tall, six foot 